Hi, we're going to learn how to insert or delete rows, basically modify the rows here in Excel 2007 and 2003. This is for the construction schedules that Construction Office Online has put together. It's really easy to do. Uh, the, the process that we're going to use is the same with 2007 as it is with Excel 2003. But we're going to use 2007 as the example. So basically, you'll, you'll click the entire row, right-click, select delete and it's gone but you notice over here that you have some errors that's no problem remember this cell here is defined by this cell here what you can do is copy this cell down by grabbing this mark right here and dragging it and that'll fix it that way you can also just right click copy right click paste and it fixes everything else in the sheet. There's nothing else that you need to do. That's it. That's how you delete a cell. Remember that you have a numbering system here that you may want to adjust because it doesn't automatically adjust for you. The way that we do that is highlight the first two cells and grab this tick on the corner, lower right hand corner of the cells and just drag that down. I've clicked and I'm holding down the left mouse button and I'm dragging that down. And what that does is automatically counts the cells for you so you're all done. Okay, now let's say we wanted to add a cell. Let's say we were out of items here, but you have some more items. That's okay. Click however many rows you want. Right click and copy. And then right click again in the, the uh, top area and insert copied cells. Okay, now what you'll notice is that these dates are not going to work correctly. You'll see here if we double click on this, this is starting on the 7th, which looks like it's starting after this date here. Well, that's because we copied the original cells here and uh, moved them up. So what we're going to do is exactly what we did before. Highlight the cell above the ones that you just added. Okay, so we're going to highlight this one here, 1.6, submit monthly request for payment. That one works. We're going to click on that cell. Again, left click and hold the square box on the lower right corner and drag that down. Now it should be looking at the right area. And it is. And then again we're going to adjust the numbering system here. So there you have it. That's how you add and delete rows for the construction schedule in Excel.